Many people don't believe that we can eat grasshopper. Actually, in northeastern of Thailand and in Laos, most of people eat grasshopper, eat cricket, eat many bugs because these bugs they contain very high protein. And now more people in the West start to eat them too. This is Mr. Jaran. He is the person who raised grasshopper in his house for commercial. He make income from grasshopper. There are many kind of grasshopper. All kind of grasshopper are edible, including cricket or anything like that. So we take the wing off and then we fry them, eat them. That's the way we eat them. And now many people just fry them or bake them and grind them into powder and export to Australia, export to Europe is quite expensive because it's the best protein that human can get it easily. To raise grasshopper, Mr. Juran collecting grasshopper in his area and put him in the cage. After 35 days of their life, they start to lay eggs. So he didn't need to prepare sand in the bucket and put in the cage. So the grasshopper will lay eggs after 35 days. They will lay eggs in the sand bucket. And after that, five days before they lay egg, we can observe that they start to make a noise, make a sound, and then they can uh, stay, stay on top of each other. And then when we put the sand bucket in there, on only five days, they will lay eggs in the bucket of sand. Then we bring that sand to sift, uh, to separate the eggs and sand and another thing else. So it will take only five days, all the will lay eggs. This is the eggs of grasshopper after we separate from the sand. This kind of eggs, they can sell to another farmer to hatch them and raise them again. It's quite expensive. It's more than $1,000 per kilogram. This is pretty good income for most of farmer. If we don't sell these eggs, we can hatch them and raise another grasshopper again by put these eggs into a sand bucket. Put sand in the bucket first and then sprinkle eggs on top of it and cover with some sawdust or any fiber on to cover it and leave it for se seven to ten days and then we can see the white eggs show up on on top of the sand and then we can move to the nursery room like in the net that we prepare and in only five days all of them will hatch and become tiny grasshopper in the nursery. This is a small nursery. They will not eat until the second or the third days they start to eat. So after we see them hatch like this, we just put some grass in that net so they can have food ready. They eat fast. They eat everything green, mainly all kinds of grass, even sugarcane leaves. They love it too. They eat everything. They eat a lot and then they grow fast. Their life from now will be about 60 days. And then after 60 days, they will die. They will lay eggs after 35 days. They lay eggs many times before they die. So they produce quite a lot. They can eat any kind of grass. Even it's very tough like sugar cane. Sugar cane leaves, they love it too. Banana leaves, they like to eat them. All kind of grass, they eat them. And after 35 days, we start to catch them by using a plastic bag and then put some round ring in the plastic bag so we can uh, scrape them. You can catch them in the net. It's quite easy to catch them. So it's very good business for this family and people will come to buy from their house. 
Mr. Joran, he sell fresh grass chopper like this. One dollar per kilograms. And then if it cook already, it can be four to five dollars per kilograms. And then the egg, grasshopper's eggs is quite expensive. This one he sell ten thousand, one thousand dollars per one kilograms. So it's quite good price. And then this is poop, grasshopper's poop. After they eat a lot, they poop a lot. And then their poop is very big, like rice. This is a good compost also. This is very good for gardening. So grasshopper is very interesting thing to think about it because now more and more people want to eat bugs or crickets or grasshopper like this.